What's up world, I'm Mr. Vaca, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can add a countdown timer to a Google site. The first thing that you're gonna wanna do is go check out this great website called ElfSite. And when you get to ElfSite.com and log into your Google account like so, I'm gonna sign in with Google, and I'm gonna go with this account right here. I'm signing in, logging into my password, and welcome to the home page of ElfSite. Now, I'm gonna go to the search bar, and I'm gonna type in Countdown Timer. And search, hit enter, and here you are in the top left-hand corner, Countdown Timer. I'm going to create this widget. And I have on the left-hand side here, all these different templates that I could choose from. Uh, for example, I could do a limited shipping banner, or an event countdown, when the start date's gonna be, or even like a wedding countdown. I'm gonna do uh, the New Year countdown, which is really cool because the reason I'm showing you the New Year is that you can edit this to be kind of whatever you want. So if you go to the very bottom of that template and say continue with this template, you then get a new toolbar here on the left hand side that allows you to choose what kind of timer it's going to be, when the start date is, when the end date is. So even though this is a new year, you could change it to be, you know, whatever event you want it to be, where the position's going to be, message before the timer if you wanted to do something like that, and a whole bunch of different advanced options. And once you're all set, you got it the way that you want, you're gonna click save in the top right corner. It's going to give you this, hey, purchase our plan, but I'm only doing one, I don't want to spend a dime, and so you're just going to click light. Now, if you wanted a ton of widgets, well, one way around that would be to use a ton of different email accounts that you might have through Google and just do one for each one. The good news is, even though it says that there's just one that you can do here for the free, once you create it, if you then delete it and then want to create a new one, you can do that even with just one single account. So that way you can play around, get the exact widget that you want. Okay, so now I'm going to click the select right here. And it says right here to add the widget to my website, I'm going to enter this code, this embed code. I'm going to click right here to copy it. And then I'm going to go to the Google site that I've created, which is right here. And I'm just going to call this count down. Now I'm going to look at the right hand side toolbar and find the embed option under insert. When I click on that, I'm not going to do the URL. I'm going to do the embed code. If you click on that and then paste what you have copied, click next, and there it is. Your widget, your countdown timer, exactly where you want. You click insert, and now you can move it around just like you would with any other file or picture or video, and you're all set. So hopefully this video helped you out a ton. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment box below. But if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe button because it helps out the channel a ton. But most importantly, don't forget to work hard, play hard, and I'll catch you next time.